brand that's so i think people really like that yeah i think um, so there's too. a lot of the, a lot of those nowadays but at the same, like our i think the way we're thinking about it is we're just gonna kind of talk to the team on an event by event basis and figure out like people's schedules or what we what the brand needs or whatever yeah. um i think from like an event vibe you too guys take care all right, I'll okay. switch your text a little bit. Okay, all right. All right, see you guys. Okay, bye. What's up, you guys? I am, like, stupid sick right now. It is just totally the following week, um, and I have had, like, zero energy to do extra work, a.k.a. put up YouTube videos, um, but this workout is from last week, and I was doing my hit cardio. You guys know that when I do sprints, I do a minute 45 off, and 15 seconds on of just as fast as I can possibly go. Right now the thought of hit is like making me want to um, crawl in, back into bed because I'm so sick. Um, and it was a leg day so I did stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts. I do like pretty moderate weight. Um, either the 25s or 27s or the 30s. I usually start with the 25s and work my way up to the 30s. But I am doing 20 reps of these so um, if I'm having a weaker day doing... 20 reps on 30 pounds is pretty difficult, but I do three sets of 20 reps of those. And then next I moved on to deadlifts. Usually I start with deadlifts, um, but Gracie and I were just, we were working in together and so we wanted to do three sets of each and then switch. Um, not the end of the world. I like to start with big movements first. Um, so yeah, you just see me doing deadlifts. I think I worked my way up to 115 for eight. Um, I try to go a little bit heavier on Fridays, but I'm just, I'm losing a lot of strength right now. Um, like I said, I knew this would happen. My last, like, two, three weeks of prep is when I really start to feel myself getting weak and having a hard time lifting super heavy. Obviously, I push as hard as I possibly can, but there are definitely just days when my body fights me, and I really just, I have to listen and lower the weight because I don't want to end up hurt. So I do three sets of eight of those. This is a long deadlifting clip. Um, next I moved on to leg press and I do three sets of 25 of those. I just like to take my shoes off because if I don't have on chucks when I do leg press or deadlifts or stuff like that, the like Adidas or Nike shoes that I have are higher up in the back and they shove my toe forward and I just don't like that feeling because I feel like I can't activate my glutes properly if my feet aren't flat. Um, next I did some abductors. I don't usually do these, so they made me incredibly sore the next day. There's really no need to, like, stand up on the machine. Um, I just kind of sit forward so that I can feel it in my glutes more so than my quads. Like, if I'm sitting, I really would only be feeling these, um, in my quads. So I kind of sit up just to, like, force the activation in my glutes. But, you know, you see a lot of girls stand up, and you really don't need to be doing that, um... I mean, do whatever is comfortable for you, but whenever you're doing them, just try to make sure that you're keeping your upper body, like, as stable as possible. I feel like I see a lot of people, like, bending forward a lot or, like, you know, swinging their upper body um, with the weight. But anyway, next, glute kickbacks. I can't remember what I did after glute kickbacks. This might be the last thing you see. I think, no, I think I did calf raises. Um, so glute kickbacks, roughly three sets of 15 reps, just making sure you squeeze at the top. Sometimes I just put like to put the weight super low and just pulse at the top for like as long as I possibly can for like a good 5 to 10 seconds. Yes, it's a very long time, but um, I like to feel the activation when I do glute kickbacks. And then I did seated calf raises, and you're not going to see me do standing calf raises, but I do uh, 4 sets of 12 of each. And that is the end of this workout, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and enjoy the rest of the video. I Hilton Head. South Carolina, I'm here for my cousin's wedding last night. Um, my dad, my sister, my stepmom and I stayed in Asheville, went to the Biltmore Mansion, which was absolutely beautiful. I went there when I was like in fifth grade, but that was long ago. I couldn't really like remember uh, much of it. Um, there were some parts of it though that I remembered. Um, but anyway, so yesterday was day one of my road trip. Today is day two. Um, tomorrow's the wedding and then two, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't really know what the plan is um, in terms of driving back, but I will be staying on track. Um, luckily I have enough right now 
like enough food right now getting me through um so i can just show you guys like what i have so far i don't foresee myself running out of a lot of stuff i might run out of chicken in which case i'll just um like be eating turkey but tomorrow's high carb day so i'll be a little bit lower on protein but basically right now um you're sitting on my tub of protein powder which i just put in my oats so that is obviously a staple when i travel um and if i were flying i would be putting this like in a plastic baggie for carb sources we've got quick oats tons of rice cakes i like the lightly salted ones because there's only seven carbs the caramel corn ones have 11 grams of carbs so just pick and choose like where you want to get your carbs from for protein Right here I have some deli meat that I like to just throw on a rice cake. I have got some Greek yogurt. I've got hummus for just like a little bit of flavor to add to Greek yogurt with chicken. I've got blackberries for my carb sources. I've got chicken and there's also turkey bacon in there. And then my laptop, that's not food. I've got some chai tea for in the morning. I've got some hot chocolate that just kind of helps like kill your sweet tooth. Um, it says five carbs on here, but when you scan it in my fitness palette, it says four. I know to most people, like a gram doesn't matter, but when you're on prep, it's nice to be exact as I drop things everywhere. I brought, um, in terms of fats, I brought uh, Power Crunch bars in the freezer. It's been helping me get in my fats. I just put those in the freezer because I like them better that way. But I also have salted almonds and the Lucky's honey roasted peanut butter also more oatmeal in here it's just like a flavored one um for if I get bored we'll run out and then I've got just a ton of oh, I have pb2 haven't used it obviously just in case I'm really low on fats I have like these Reese's cups but I don't think I'm gonna end up needing those um quest bars it's just like a bunch of different protein bars um, these are on sale, that's why I have those. And then, like, a fit, I had one of the Fit Crunch bars today because they're, like, really filling. But they're 380 calories, so at this point, I'm starving to death and I don't have a lot of macros left for the day. Probably should save that for last, but, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I have this little, like, I took that from a gas station because it's just straight caffeine. But, anyway, um, these are the kinds of things I bring when I travel. I try to separate out, like strictly carbs strictly protein strictly fats like stuff that doesn't have fats are kind of tricky unless you have like olive oil or like coconut oil or something but i don't like adding coconut oil to get my fats like i'd rather eat something with fat in it um but yeah those are kind of the things that i bring with me when i travel if i were flying i would probably it would be a totally different story and i'd probably end up having to like buy stuff when i got there but i would try to bring at least like a bag of rice cakes protein powder, um, almonds, peanut butter, you know, stuff that's, you, know, you make it work. Um, obviously it's not easy, it's not ideal. Luckily there's been a microwave and a refrigerator in both of the hotels that I've stayed at, but I know that's not the case every single time, so sometimes you end up having to go, um, you know, go buy stuff at the store. Starbucks is a pretty good option in terms of like healthy options, shockingly. Um, McDonald's is a pretty good option because they do have all their macros available um, and you can separate it out like if you go to McDonald's website you can separate out like by ingredient what's in each ingredient so like for example if you wanted to get chicken at McDonald's you could go get a like chicken sandwich and then you could on their website remove the bun and the tomato and the lettuce and then it would tell you what was left for like that's just in the chicken so not only does it break it down by what the whole meal is it would break it down for you like what's what in that like if you wanted to get a cheeseburger but without the bun like what would that be so um i really like that about mcdonald's obviously like i don't i haven't eaten mcdonald's in like uh when did i have to i had to do that at some point i don't remember when it was i was driving i think i was driving from nashville it was like my last week before my first show so i haven't done it in like nine weeks i haven't had to do that but just in case you have to do that just an option and i feel like i'm rambling um so yeah basically i've kind of got like exciting news for you guys too but i can't share it yet um i don't have the go ahead to share it but i'm super excited don't worry you'll know soon and it's like for real for real this time um yeah i'm really excited that's something i'm very like over the moon about and um, I'm getting choked up and teared up just thinking about it and 
the fact that if you want something hard enough and you visualize yourself having it, um, it will totally freaking happen for you. Like I'm a firm believer in the fact that like you can visualize something into existence. Like obviously you have to put in the work and get towards it, but like if you have such a strong vision of something, like you'll make it happen. So with that said, I'm gonna go because I need to go do some cardio. There's a gym down at this hotel, but I might go for a run on the beach instead. I'm not sure. So I will catch you guys in the next clip. If it's at the beach, you probably won't see it because I don't want to get sand on my camera and ruin it. So I'll catch you in the next clip. Well, I am going to not turn on the light because the pool is right there and I really don't want people watching me while I work out. So I just ran at the beach and now it's getting dark out so I wanted to finish my cardio inside because hashtag safety, not trying to be the girl that gets murdered because of prep. So I'm um, gonna do some cardio and then I will film abs. All right, you guys, I did not end up filming my entire ab workout, but just know that when I do planks, I do two sets of a minute each. I did some side planks where I rotated. Um, that's why I look like I'm like being funny when I do these, but that's the end of this workout, guys, and the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching.